this episode of No Money Spent, we're going to be heading to Emerald Lake, guys, and this is where we're going to make most of our money. So what we're going to go ahead and do first off is now, if you didn't follow exactly how I did you didn't, and you bought some extra stuff, you might not have as much money, but I got 18k at the start of this video. So what we're going to do before we do any other purchases is we're just going to go ahead, buy an advanced license to New York, and make sure that we save at least $3,000 to get there. Now, we do have some bait left over. So we got some small minnows, and we're going to go ahead and use this same Omni Float Rod here. We can see if there's any line that's a little bit more uh, ready for it, a little bit more balanced, but it's okay for now. So don't worry about that too much, but we're going to have to go ahead and repair our value spin. Now, normally I wouldn't repair, but it is going to be a little bit cheaper if we just repair this quick. So you, oh, I almost sold it. So just go ahead and repair 411 bucks to repair it. It's not too bad. Our reel is not terrible either. Uh, we'll go ahead and repair that for now. Now this is going to be, um, we're going to actually change the line up here. Actually, no, we can, we can, we can leave that for now, but we're going to buy some new line anyways. Let's go ahead and sell that line. Let's, uh, replace the line on here as well. So let's go into the shop here. And we're just going to take a look at what's available for around three kilogram test here. Nothing too much heavier because you got to remember our reels max out at three kilograms and 3.5 kilograms. So it can't be too much heavier. Uh, but either way, I wanted to go with some new line regardless. Uh, 3.6. Yeah, we'll just go back with some more um, 2.7 kilogram, which is what we were using before. So go ahead and buy 500 meters of that. And that's what we're going to be using. So we'll throw that on both rods right now. Now, if you want to go with a bigger setup, guys, uh, feel free to go ahead. But for now, this is what I'm going to be going with. We're going to be using the barbless spoon, same as before. The barbless narrow spoon, 7 grams, 1 -oh hook. And then here, we're going to be using the same exact hook sizes. Uh, we're going to throw in the glow in the, the glow in the dark one, just because. Actually, maybe we'll go the X-shaped pair. This kind of big, though. Uh, we'll just go with the, we'll go with the glow in the dark one and we're going to be using small minnows so that's all i'm going to be going for here guys you can bring other stuff you want to bring a casting spoon feel free to go ahead you want to bring more small minnows you definitely can it just depends on how much you want to buy now here's some optional things to purchase if you would like to but one thing we're going to be buying right away guys is another rod stand and now the reason why we're buying this is because we want to try and progress through the game as quick as possible no money spent means we're going to be doing things a little bit differently than if you bought some dlc so i'm gonna go ahead and buy the duet rod stand here level 14 1500 bucks not a bad price at all so let's go ahead equip that right now and we'll sell our single one here which we don't need which is only worth 99 bucks not bad but now we're getting a little bit down now we now that we have two rod holders though or two slots on our rod holder we're gonna need another rod case and this one's gonna have to be a triple case we're gonna go ahead and buy this three rod case here and we are going to equip that as well now we have slots for three different rods which is perfect go ahead and sell the old one we don't need that anymore now we are going to go ahead and spend the rest of our money except for three thousand dollars on a rod all right guys so I, I made a little bit of a math there and didn't actually end up having enough money to go with three rods to emerald lake But because of how quick you make money here, it's not going to be that big of a deal. So the first one is going to be pretty tight in profit margins. We're going to be using two rods. And then once we get a little bit more money from Emerald Lake, we are going to go ahead and come back out, leave, and we're going to buy another good rod. Now, the reason why I did that is because I'm dumb and I, I, I decided not to use a calculator and just did it in my head and I'm stupid. So... Uh, but I went and sold our Omni Flow Rod because we really don't need that anymore. And now that we got the Nero, we can use that as our main float rod. But still, with two rods, you're going to make a lot of money here. Make sure that before you leave, you guys equip the Fish Jail. You equip the Rod Stand. With not, I mean, you don't really need it now uh, because I messed up. But these are still purchases that are going to help us within the time we finish this video. So either way, you buy them now, you buy them later. Not a huge deal. We're going to go ahead and hold on to them for now. And then once we get a little bit more money, we're going to buy another rod. And it's going to be a float rod because we, what we're going to be doing is having two float rods down and then using our lure setup in our hand. So anyways, travel to Emerald Lake and let's get started. All right, so we're here at Emerald and looks like we got lucky. It is raining. That means the peak is pretty high all day long. So what you're going to want to come to or what you're going to want to do is come to the dock piece here. 
Now, if you guys haven't seen my emerald video on this place, um, you can go give that a look. But it's pretty simple fishing here. We are only going after walleye. That is all we're going to want. They're really, really good money. And then we're going to basically use emerald as a place to upgrade our gear for the next couple places. And also use it to um, buy some extra stuff that we'll need in the future. Because right now, we don't really have a great lure rod. We have an okay float rod. But we're going to need some upgrades in the future for sure. Let's just go ahead, set this out towards the tree. And if you guys have seen the video, you know this is where I like to fish here. Now for depth, uh, I'm going to do something like, I don't know, 100. It doesn't really matter. There's fish all over the place here. And just cast out as far as you can, basically. You should be good anywhere around there. It's going to be fine. You bought the exact same setup I did. It's a little bit unbalanced. But hey, early game, you got to deal with unbalanced setups uh, a little bit if you want to try and go with some better rods off the start you don't really have the reels to match it and then all you're gonna do is use twitching motion here and that's all you're gonna do guys you're gonna sit here you're gonna farm and you're gonna make lots of money so i think i'm probably gonna stay here a couple days basically until i run out of uh small minnows i'm gonna stay here and then i will go purchase another rod to speed things up a little bit all right so just farm guys enjoy your time maybe throw on some netflix while you're while you're playing or whatever we brought in our first ever walleye on the no money spent account and it was a trophy which is absolutely awesome 373 dollars 198 xp pretty solid for a trophy walleye and just look at how gorgeous the walleye are and then we're gonna be here for a while we're gonna be here for a while we're probably gonna go here and then to the everglades next but i'm gonna keep farming i gotta i gotta get our money reserves back up because uh I gotta buy another rod too so basically what i'm doing now is i'm fishing to get money so i can at least afford enough to travel back here and buy another rod set up because i want to have a couple rods going here making money as quick as humanly possible leveling up as fast as possible because with no money spent it's a grind guys it really is a grind like i gotta sit here and i gotta grind on it so i i definitely feel what you guys are are saying when you're in the same spot for a while and it gets boring and that's going to happen to me too. And there's going to be times where I'm going to want to leave places like Emerald early. Because I get bored. And that's just going to happen. But we're still going to make it effective everywhere we go. That way at least we're still having fun. Even if we're not in the most efficient place. But I still want to you know, check out some different places and stuff like that. I went ahead and left Emerald Lake at level 20. We have $28,941. Now I'm not going to go to the Everglades just yet. But we are preparing to go there in the future. We're going to go there relatively soon. We are level 20. What we're going to do now is we're going to buy another rod. Now, if you guys paid attention at the start of the video, uh, you know I kind of screwed up a little bit and I only brought two rods. I only had enough money for two rods to go to Emerald. That's okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to buy a rod that's going to work here and we're going to buy a rod that's going to work in the Everglades as well. So that way we don't have to buy two different rods. Uh, basically what's going to happen here is we're going to go into rods, we're going to go to match rods, and we're going to grab the Nero 4500, which is $4,200. And then we're going to go grab this reel here. Uh, this is the Aspira ML 2500, $8,400. Got about 16 k left, and then we got to include our travel. So if we take away our travel, it's $13,341. Let's go ahead and equip this right now. Now, we are going to have to buy some new line as well. We're actually going to upgrade our line just in general here to make it a little bit more balanced in our setups. But let's go ahead and we can leave that that one. But for the uh, both of our Neros, because now we got the 450 and the 330, we're going to go ahead and upgrade the line. So our reel on this one is 4 kilograms. So we need 5.5. We need 5.5 .5 to 6 kilogram line. And then we also need 4 kilogram line. So let's just see what uh, resembles the closest here for us. Uh, so we got some 4.5 we can use. Uh, we'll buy we'll buy some of that, and then we're gonna buy. Then we'll buy some six kilogram as well. That works for me. And we will throw the six kilogram on there. Once that's done running, come on. Thank you. And then we'll throw the 4.5 braid on there. And then we can just go ahead and put everything back. We're going to need to buy some more small minnows as well. You can tell. Same thing we're going to do here. We're just going to go small minnows. 1-0 hooks. Same as before. 
Uh, we're actually going to swap the bobber out. There you go. And we were at 120 centimeters. So we're going to do that as well. And there we go. We got our two uh, flow rods ready to go. And then we got our spinning setup ready to go still. We're going to use this uh, in the Everglades as well, guys. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy some more bait. And then I think what I'm going to do is we'll call it a video here. And I'll do some farming offline. And I'll show you guys how much longer I stay here at emerald and then i will show you guys when i decide to move onto the everglades because we're going to want to get to level 30 as quick as possible i'm going to buy a good chunk of minnows here even though it does suck having to spend all this money on minnows guys we're going to use them in the future so it's not a bad idea to just grab a ton so there we go we got eight thousand nine hundred dollars and we got to travel there so let's just go ahead. We're going to use this setup just like at Emerald just like we have been the whole rest of the video. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode where I show you guys what we're going to buy to go to the Everglades and when I go to the Everglades. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, hit that like button and that subscribe button. Appreciate the support throughout this series, guys. Hope you're enjoying it and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Ring the bell so you don't miss a single video. Check out the description for links to my other social media platforms like Twitch, where I stream five days a week. Come hang out live. It's a lot of fun. Also, make sure to come type a comment. Tell me to catch more fish or whatever you guys want. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.